from the perspective of Cooler Monster, I think Computex was a really great success. There have been so many overclocking events this year. I don't think there have ever been this many overclocking events during Computex. There were so many guys here coming over from overseas and it was really nice watching them play with the latest hardware using our Cooler Monster power supplies. It was really nice. ASUS, Gigabyte, MSI and G-Skill were the most important ones. They invited a lot of overclockers from all over the world to um, come to their labs and bench their hardware. And it was very interesting to just sit down with those guys and, and watch them play with the latest stuff. We had the chance to work with a lot of overclockers right here in person that we've been working with for a long time already. And it was great to have them here in Taipei play with the latest hardware. And um, yeah, they pulled off some really nice results, really nice scores. And it was, it was really nice seeing them person to person and working with them directly. Yeah. So whenever you have a high-end gaming system with several graphics cards or GPUs, you need a really strong power supply. Titan graphics cards can pull over 300 watts at stock speed depending on the temperature. So that already gives you an idea if you want to run triple SLI Titan, what kind of power supply you're looking at. You need some extra power for hard drives and the CPU and the system as well. They all wanted the 1500 watt M2 because it's single rail 1500 watt and it's unlocked. So it's uh, no OCP and it ha only has an OPP at like 2150 watts. So that's a huge amount of power. And that's what you need for Titan and 780s. OCP stands for overcurrent protection. So that's actually a safety feature to make sure your PC doesn't burn down if there's a short circuit or something else. But when you're overclocking, OCP is actually something that can hold you back because you're pushing hardware to the limit and on LN2 the power consumption of graphics cards is generally twice what you usually have on air. So then you really don't want any current limitation. So that's why we removed the OCP from our power supplies entirely. OPP stands for over power protection. That's another safety feature that is still there to make sure the power supply doesn't blow up or damage your hardware. But that's the absolute max limit and that's around 2150 watts for the 1500 watt M2. So that's that's really really high limit and you'll probably never reach that. For power supply, it's not just important to have enough watts overall. You also need a power supply that can respond quickly to the change in, in power loading of the whole system. Especially when you use several graphics cards, the power load actually fluctuates a lot and changes quickly. If your power supply cannot handle the changes in load, it will just shut down, even if it can provide enough watts in theory. Our 59 watt M2 can go from 0 to 100 amp load within just 100 milliseconds, so that's really fast. The most demanding graphics card so far was the GTX 580. I'm sure a lot of overclockers remember that one. And uh, the Titan is actually pretty close in power consumption to the 580. So recently a lot of overclockers have been knocking on our doors and asking for the 1500 watt M2 because they know they need something with high current capabilities. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe I uh, was able to tell you some more about our power supplies you didn't know. 